this lab is、um, a part of linguistics department, but it's situated in Rutgers Center for Cognitive Science. One thing that I really like about this、uh, cognitive cognitive center, as well as Rutgers, is this collaboration opportunity. So、um, this phonetic lab corrupt collaborates a lot with the psycholinguistics lab in the psychology department. I have. Things to say from as a phonetician, and they have things to say as a psycholinguist. And this collaborative environment is really great. One of the projects that we've been working on is to figure out what speakers do when they need to change their articulation. Speakers are constantly caring about what listeners would hear. They don't want to be misunderstood, so they change their articulation so that listeners can still. See what was intended. So another example that is being done in this lab is actually started as an,、uh, a thesis project by an undergraduate assistant here last year. Her project looked at whether preschoolers change their articulations depending on the discourse context, or in other words, depending on who they're talking to. She recorded kids'、um, pronunciations in two conditions. In one condition. Uh, preschoolers were just repeating the experimenter, and in another in another condition, the experimenter told the the preschoolers that a puppet was、uh, learning words. So their role was to teach the words to the puppet. She did acoustic analysis of preschoolers' pronunciations in these two conditions, and what we found is that when preschoolers are talking to a puppet, teaching them a word. They speak more clearly. They speak louder. They speak more slowly, and they speak with higher voice and with more exaggerated tone of voice. So it shows that even preschoolers care about what what the role of listener is, depending on who they're talking to, and what they're really doing. I really enjoy collaborating with undergraduate students. We had a really good team last year. And、uh, the lab grew very quickly thanks to them. I taught them like basic experimental techniques, like acoustic editing and a running subject. But in the second semester, they went on and started doing their own project. And one of the projects that I discussed earlier is one example. That's a publishable experiment, and I'm really impressed by the potential of Rutgers undergraduate students. There's been growing interest, and I hope this、um, this trend continues.